some news you can use. We're going to talk about one of our favorite subjects for the last six weeks, which is Zillow. Uh, Fox Business News had a flash headline last night that the first federal lawsuit against Zillow uh, was filed the day before yesterday. Uh, this is a lawsuit in the uh, federal district in Seattle, Washington, and um, it, this is the first of evidently five that is supposed to be filed up there. At least the indications are maybe by today these others will have been filed. Uh, the suit says, quote, that Zillow made materially false and or misleading statements as well as failed to disclose material adverse facts about the company's business operations and prospects. Uh, the filing is, as I mentioned, the first uh, case opened against Zillow offers or what they call the iBuyer, the instant buyer program they had. You guys have, uh, have probably heard us talk a lot about this. For those of you who haven't, um, you can go back and look at the archives uh, where we've talked about this in the past. We predicted this was going to happen. Um, one other thing that Zillow did yesterday, and kind of a, uh, a tip of the hat to political incorrectness, uh, the people in Colorado, the, the government officials in Colorado, specifically the folks that run the city of Denver, uh, got so pissed off at uh, what Zillow did to their housing market that they put enough pressure on Zillow to basically turn over a chunk of their housing stock to house the homeless. So that's one way that Zillow is going to atone for their sins. Now, I don't know how in the world you jump from uh, Zillow chumming the market to that chumming of the market forced homeless onto the street. But that is the argument um, because, you know, Zillow in those five, six hundred thousand dollar, nine hundred thousand dollar houses, I guess they were going to be they were designated to, to hold a lot of homeless people. but. Anyway, they put uh, the government officials there put pressure on Zillow, and Zillow has acquiesced and turned over a chunk of their housing stock to home homeless folks. So, um, you know, that's that's not going to make uh, Zillow stockholders happy. Obviously, they're not going to get paid for that house anytime soon. So, uh, this this thing is is a walking cluster. I mean, this is a, it's a total disaster. Um, we've talked. For the last two weeks about you know this could be the demise of zillow and potentially the whole i buying network out there I, i'm standing by that i think that's probably still going to happen um and this will be the the first or this is the first of what is probably going to be uh numerous lawsuits that will probably put zillow into bankruptcy would be my prediction all right um, enough about our favorite topic, uh, and you guys are seeing it every time you turn on your news feed now, but um, something else that happened yesterday was uh, a quick jump, a rapid increase in the borrowing rate. Now, this is not a thing that people pay much attention to because the Fed has not raised their rates yet. Um, the Fed has indicated that sometime next fall it would be the earliest they would be looking to to raise rates. Initially, they said first part, first quarter of 2023. Now they're saying fourth quarter of 2022. I predict it's going to happen sooner. Uh, but what happened yesterday is, and, and keep in mind, there's a little background, but the only thing the Fed, the only hammer in its tool belt that the Fed can use to keep inflation down is interest rates. If you raise interest rates, you dampen inflation. So uh, inflation is running to certain parts of the market is running unchecked right now. We're having all kinds of issues with uh, shipping, overseas boat stuff coming in. We've talked about that ad nauseum. You can't get boats offloaded in these ports and there's no truckers to haul stuff to get it to the stores. Um, I was in Walmart last night and I was looking for three or four items that they always have and they don't have. It's there, There's uh, spot shortages of all kinds of different things. And I think you'll see that those of you who've been out looking for stuff lately, you're gonna find a, a surprise out there if you're um, you know, waiting until the last minute to get what you need for Christmas. But be that as it may, the Fed's only hammer is to raise interest rates. And so yesterday the news came out that for the previous month, they were expecting a seven tenths of a percent increase in the economy and it came out to 1.7%. That's one month. 
So you take that times 12 and you're looking at 20 plus percent inflation. That's Jimmy Carter era type inflation. That's going to take some severe hammering on the part of the Fed to stop that. Um, and so what happened is when that news came out yesterday, the housing market uh, immediately, the prices for the loans for houses out there immediately took a big jump. They went from about 3.06% to 3.25. That's a huge one day jump. And what's happening is the people who loan money to borrowers to buy houses um, are trying to get ahead of that thing. So in other words, they're trying to price, or it's called bake it into the mix. They're trying to bake into that mix the fact that they think the Fed's going to go out earlier, maybe the second or third quarter of 2022 and raise interest rates. So when that happens, the whole thing's over. Uh, that's when the, when the Fed actually raises interest rates um, it's that's the end of the stock market and that's the end of the housing market as we know there'll be a pause there'll be a downward spiral I mean it's uh, when when rates goes up everything else goes down so proactively those in the housing uh, lending industry the lenders are trying to proactively bake that in based on what they're reading of the tea leaves for the uh, the, the economy for the uh, inflationary aspects of the economy. So that's not a good sign. That was one of the largest jumps that they've seen uh, in several years. And uh, I would look for more of that again next month because prices are still not coming down, primarily because we just can't get supply of what we need out there. So uh, if the economy is good, as it seems to be, and there's a shortage of stuff, as there seems to be, Expect the Fed to come into the rescue and raise interest rates because that will slow all that down, which in turn will slow down a the stock market and b the housing market. So um, it, it's coming as always. We will keep you guys updated, but that's the the cliff note version for tonight. And uh, you know you can make a, a gazillion dollars if you know how to read this stuff, and it's really just a matter of making yourself aware of what's going on out there. It doesn't take. Uh, a deep dive into the weeds that you just need to be aware if there's grass in the backyard. So, all right, with that said, 